Here's an example of a pretty standard looking implicit differentiation question. We're given a formula that relates the variables x and y, and in theory, you might be able to solve this equation for y. You might be able to isolate y and write it in terms of x, but you really wouldn't want to have to do that, uh, especially when you have implicit differentiation available. This statement, this equation, is telling us that the two functions, the one on the left and the one on the right, are the same. Therefore, their derivatives should be the same. So that's how we start an implicit differentiation question. We take the derivative of the left side, the derivative of the right side, and assert that they are equal. So then we want to actually calculate these derivatives. Uh, remember, when we see a y here, we're treating y as a function of x. So we want to use the chain rule whenever we see something like y cubed, because y is really an inside function. It's a function of x. So if we take the derivative of y cubed, uh, we should write 3y squared times the derivative of the inside function, times the derivative of y. Um, and then the derivative of 3x squared, since x is the variable, that's simpler. The derivative of 3x squared is just 6x. On the right side, uh, we have 2 times y. So again, we're going to be taking the derivative of y and express that as dy over dx. Now, what I want to do in this question is isolate dy dx. And you see I have two of those symbols in this formula, one on the left side and one on the right side. Let's try to get them together. Let's first subtract 2 times dy dx from both sides of the equation and add 6x to both sides of the equation. And what we've achieved so far now is both terms on the left side have a factor of dy dx, and the term on the right side does not. So we're one step closer to isolating dy dx. The next step we would want to take is factor out the expression dy dx from the two terms on the left side. That leaves behind 3y squared minus 2. And now we can finally isolate dy dx. It's going to be 6x over 3y squared minus 2. This is the formula for the derivative of y with respect to x that implicit differentiation gives to us.